In the previous video, we learned to use a RESTful APIs for updating DHT sensor values to ThingsPeak server. Data is sent using HTTP POST method. Now in this video, we will do the opposite. That is to request for a data from a server using the HTTP GET method. We will still use the uRequest MicroPython library to simplify our code for the HTTP request. For the hardware part, I have here an ESP32 with MicroPython firmware flash inside. I attach a 0.96 OLED display which uses I2C communication protocol for minimal need of wire connection. For the software part, I have here a source code prepared. But before that, let me first introduce a server which we are going to request for a data. And that is Open Weather. Open Weather provides current weather data and several types of forecast which can be accessed through API. Open Weather provides a pre subscription access, of course, with some limitation of 60 times of requests for every hour. But it should be more than enough for the demonstration purposes. So let's begin. In order to use the Open Weather, we need to register to it. First, create an account by clicking the sign in button, which I already prepared here. So the sign in is like this. But before that, you may need to register an account by clicking the create an account. And that is this one. And just fill out the details. After that, hit create account. The open weather will send an email for confirmation. And you will receive an open weather map account confirmation. Just click the verify your account. After that one, you can sign in your account so I will sign in after you successfully sign in you may click for your API keys here and your API key is here you may copy this one I will open this API tab and we can use the current weather data API document and the minimum, the simplest is this one, API call. So let me copy this one. As you can see, there are two placeholder, which is from here, open curly braces up to here, which is your city and the API key. So what you will do is... Copy your API key, which is this one, I will paste, and the city name will be replaced for your choice of city. I will input Manila. I will hit enter, and the open weather map will return these values. It returns something cryptic message. It's actually a JSON formatted data or dictionary in Python or a key and value pairs like temp minimum and this is the value, temp maximum and this is the value, pressure and this is the value. For your reference, you can always refer to the open weather documentation for more details which are this one. So let's go back to our source code. What we are going to do is to request for this page, which is this one. Let me copy this one. And then parse the needed values. And to make it more useful, we will display it to this OLED display. But first, let me run the source code. So it will connect to my Wi-Fi router. 
after it successfully connect to my Wi-Fi router, it will send a request from the open weather. And as you can see, the display will be also updated every five seconds. Let me stop it first. Okay. And let's tackle the source code. Our source code begins with the imports of necessary libraries. Machine is for accessing the hardware. SSD 1306 is for the OLED display. Network module is for configuring the Wi-Fi. U request is for handling the HTTP request. UJSON is for parsing the JSON data and the time module for creating the request interval. Second is the creation of objects, the onboard LED. For the OLED display, including utility function to simplify displaying of text. Third is the configuration of ESP32 Wi-Fi. Configuring it as a Wi-Fi station and let it connect to a Wi-Fi router. This is to be able to communicate with the Open Weather API server. Fourth is the declaration of global variables and constants. To simplify our code, we will divide or chunk the complete URL we use for requesting data into several parts. And this is the API with the actual uh, city name and actual API key. This will make others to easily use this code and adapt it accordingly. Base URL contains the starting parts of the complete URL. API key contains the API key from the open weather, which is this one. City name contains the city you want to request for weather data, which is in my case, it's Manila. URL contains the complete URL, which are the combined values of base URL, city name, API key, and some strings to complete the appropriate URL to be requested. Update interval constant holds the time interval of requesting weather data. And last update variable contains the time of last weather data request from the Open Weather API. Initially, it records the current time before entering the main loop. Fifth and last is the main loop. If it's due time to request for the data, send an HTTP request to the Open Weather using the HTTP GET method of the uRequest library and store the reply to the response variable. If the status code of the response is OK or status code 200, then proceed to processing the received data. The received data is JSON formatted, hence we are going to use a JSON function to store it to the data variable. The main key holds the dictionary of the weather data, which is parsed and is stored on individual variables. And if you can observe here, the main key, which is this one, these values are what we need. The main key holds the dictionary of the weather data, which is parsed, and is stored on individual variables, which are this one. Basically, the temperature is parsed from the main dictionary with a key of temp minus 273.15 in order to get a temperature in Celsius unit because the default value of the temperature is in Kelvin. Then the humidity is sparse, the pressure in hectopascal, 
and the weather report. Then, the data is displayed to the OLED display and also to the REPL. Else, if there is an error or the status code is different from OK or status code 200, it will display some error messages in REPL and also in the OLED display. The onboard LED is toggled to indicate that the board is functioning properly. And lastly, the time is recorded and is stored on last update variable which will be used for the next update request. Here. Let me run it again. I can only request from the open weather for 60 times every hour. And here, I set it to request every 5 seconds. And you may notice that the onboard LED is toggling every request. It will turn off after 5 seconds. Okay, it requests again. Now it's off. So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. Be sure to give me thumbs up by clicking the like button and do share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. And if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe now and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when a new video like this is uploaded. You might also like to visit my blog post at techtotinker.blogspot.com for more details such as circuit diagram and source code. Thank you and have a good day ahead. I hope to see you next time. Bye!